Today we're going over the SR84, and is it a good, viable option for the finals? Well, let's dive into some numbers for the damage. The body shot's 115, the headshot's 230. It does have a follow-up two times multiplier, but most all headshots two tap, so the multiplier has no effect. It's damage per second is about 90, and you can actually kill off all classes in 3.5 seconds. It has one of the highest damages. It has one of the lowest fire rates. It has a phenomenal range. It, it's aim down sight has zero recoil. It's hip fire has a decent amount of spread when hit when shooting from the hip. But overall, it is a really solid option. And the fact that it has no recoil and all follow up shots are right where you were aiming. It's pretty great. Here in the test grounds, it's a one shot for lights. As you can see, the multiplier has no effect on a second enemy. The multiplier must only apply to the same enemy. In this little test, just doing a see if there is bullet penetration and there is none. You can see headshots are marked as a gold hit marker. The sniper rifle itself is a great support weapon. It's not outstanding for pushing into the, the heat of the battle. There are people who are phenomenal with sniping. I'm not one of those, but it does make it difficult to push in when you're when you are needed, when both teammates are down and you need to defend the point, this weapon can seem useless in those scenarios. As for the lights, weapons choice, I don't think this makes it even to the top. This does not make it into the top three, in my opinion. There are a lot better choices out there and other weapons that do a ton of damage. But here's a little montage of me doing garbage sniping. Cash out. 